brown umber. Now I'm going to do my burnt sienna. And I got quite a bit of water on the brush because I'm going to want to blend it. going to be since it is using the same colors that are in the grass I don't want it to blend in with the grass I don't want it to get lost in the grass and it looks like I've mixed I've done a good job mixing those colors so that it won't so this is kind of like the base color of her shirt and then I'm gonna add some light in there so I'm just adding the light green and her head shouldn't be too tall because she's a child still she's about nine years old so they have children tend to have bigger heads but not taller heads so this is probably the extent of her arm to her elbow and then that's her elbow right there I don't want to make her too long she's not really pointing there so I'm gonna have to fix that make it more of a fist 
wrist with a single finger. is also too high. It's probably going to have to come down a little bit. And I don't know what I was thinking with her arms. I made them going up like this. I don't know. I'll make Bobby's arms. Those make more sense to me right now. start with a dark green. I'm going to start with it, you know, just a dry brush. Try to layer them on there. So just kind of following the branch along with the branches. I'll just do the dark leaves first. So just following these branches I put in. taller trees, so we don't want the leaves to be down here. That wouldn't really make sense. I don't want to put so many leaves that my trunks disappear, so I'll stop there. I'll add in some lighter green color.
Okay, so I'm just gonna show you now that I'm mostly done with my painting, how I did some of the techniques to um, achieve these effects in my paintings. So I like to use these type of brushes right here and that I do like a cross hatching thing on the trees. I just mix, I mix this dark blue with this dark brown color to get the shadow, which I put. So basically I do a little cross hatching here on the side. And what I mean by that is I go down and then I go across, okay? Kind of like that. Um, but yeah, I was just gonna show you this cross hatching technique over here. So I would do that first. And then I would take this kind of brush. It's a much softer brush. Um, and basically I'm gonna put like the main tree color on this one. And so then I end up painting over the cross hatching I did with the burnt sienna so that it creates a little bit of a textured effect, but it also gives it a little bit more shape. And you might be wondering, you know, why do that work and then paint over it? Because some of it is going to show through from the bottom and is, is going to help create that texture that you want. So I tried to think, you know, where is this light going to hit the tree? Use your imagination and put it in there. So right now I'm just being lazy and doing just white. I'm just going to show you how I blend it on the canvas. Okay, so just blend that in there. So there's our light on the tree. And then, you know, any other parts that, if, if this is, if this part of the tree is sticking out, I'm gonna put a little bit more light on that too. And just blend it in. Make sure that there's a nice clear cut line on the tree. Cause again, shape, shape matters here. So we want the texture, we want the light, the right kinds of colors, and then shape here. Okay, so just defining that shape a little bit more. Now, you might notice that there's some like ridges in here. And in fact, if you wanted to, you could kind of play with that and just say, like maybe this tree is slightly misshapen put a little bit of shadow in there to make those ridges even more prominent. For the rabbit, I just used this kind of brush right here. And I did his fur with like kind of a reddish brown color. And I just kind of like dabbed that on so that he looks fuzzy. The fairies, I really changed those a lot as you can tell. I basically, what I did, I painted over it white and then I just repainted this whole section in here. And you can do that, you know? So this is, anyways, this is my final painting. I might make a few final tweaks to it, but you know, this is pretty much, I'm, I'm happy with it.